Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's good to be making these videos again. If you haven't already, uh, go ahead and hit that like button if you're here because you like some pizza. Now let's just get into this because this is the easiest, most scrumptious pizza you could probably ever make and it is 12 year old approved. All you need are these seven ingredients. Go ahead and take a screenshot of these ingredients right here or take a screenshot of the ingredients in the description box below because I got you fam. And I'm here to make your grocery trips a lot easier. Let me do all the thinking for you. Just go in, grab it and let's get started. So as long as you have these ingredients in an air fryer, then you are capable of making magic happen. When you have all of your ingredients laid out in front of you, the first thing that you wanna do is put about a big tablespoon of the tomato sauce on the naan bread. This is basically a two-step process. I mean, you just top it and then put it in the air fryer and voila, it's pizza. That's why I say a kid can do it because it's the perfect after school snack, I think. Like if I knew about this when I was a 12 year old, I'd probably be making this like all the time. It's too easy. Just use a moderate amount of garlic powder just to take it to that next level of gourmet and sprinkle some Parmesan cheese also to take it to that next level of gourmet without trying too hard, you know? Honestly, most of my recipes don't have precise measurements. I just season to my liking, so I recommend you do the same. Now I'm just sprinkling a generous amount of my Italian cheese blend. Don't forget that while you are topping your pizzas, your air fryer should be preheating at 380 degrees. Make sure your air fryer is preheating at 380 degrees. This is the point where you can be as creative as you wanna be or as simple as you wanna be. I kept it very simple this time and I just used turkey pepperoni which is my healthier alternative to regular pepperoni. Um, but you can add mushrooms, sausage, vegan chorizo, um, peppers, you know, whatever you like. That's the awesome thing about this pizza. It's super easy and you can use whatever you have in your fridge or whatever you're in the mood for. It's up to you. I wanna know what some of your favorite toppings are. Please let me know in the comments what kind of toppings you would add to this pizza. Guys, we're about 80% done already. Now, at this point, just spray your air fryer with some olive oil spray or any nonstick spray you have and let it cook for six to seven minutes, depending on how you like your crust. Six minutes will give you a softer crust, seven minutes will give you a more crunchy crust. When it's done cooking, unfortunately, the air fryer does cause the pepperoni to fly off. I don't know how to fix it. I mean, I just put the pepperonis back on and it'll, it, it does the trick. If you guys could give me any tips on how to make the pepperoni stay put, let me know. But hey, whatever works, am I right? Taking the pizzas out of the air fryer are the trickiest part of this recipe, but don't worry. As long as you have some tongs or chopsticks to just get a good grip on the pizzas, just slide it on out. Tip the air fryer, get a good grip on the pizzas, and slide it on out. Then bada bang, bada boom, you got a pizza feast waiting for you. That's it, that's how you make the pizza. I got three of these bad boys, so I'm just repeating the process. But that's it. I really hope you enjoy this recipe. 
please hit that subscribe and like button. Thank you for being a part of the family. I'm so excited to grow this channel with you all. Um, if this was valuable to you in any way, please let me know in the comments. It's so awesome to have each and every one of you here. You're all so cool and I bet you're all amazing people. And let's have some fun and enjoy some good food. I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.